Okay, guys, welcome to video number 11 <clears throat> for channel 3 No Drafts. So, we open a Crater Maker and a Guild Mage. Crater Maker is very good. You can, uh, I mean, you could do this when he stopped, you could do it whenever. League Guild Mage obviously has more upside, but the more consistent card is Loblin Crater Maker. One of the things, you know, I ask myself is like, how often do I win with a card like this in my deck <laughs> how often do i win with a card like this in my deck and more often than not this gets to do something before this does just because of the expensive mana activation although th this does very this does draw at least one card very often when it comes down so it replaces itself but, you now this is this is like you know six mana two two draw a card you probably wouldn't play it Ooh, watcher in the mist <clears throat> so now we could take a just a strike or we could take a watcher. I like watcher. It's more likely to go into um, some deck. Maybe we get past good Demir cards. Maybe we even wheel discovery dispersal, although it's unlikely the rest of the cards in here are quite weak. <clears throat> we might wheel something like a Drake or an unexplained disappearance. Actually, that's important to see what we wheel from this bag because if we don't get either unexplained disappearance or a Muse Drake, then maybe blue is not very open. All right, so we did say that Demir might be passed. I'm going to take a Whispering Agent. It's more likely that the Whispering Snitch wheels rather than the Whisper Agent. Whisper Agent is good in uh, any blue deck, whereas this is this wants to go into a very specific deck. I really don't like Capture Sphere. They go later. Blue black has their much more effective removal. Okay, so now some Golgari cards. Mausoleum Secrets is replaceable. There's a Severed Strands, which I think is the pick. Could take an Izzet Locket from here. Could even take a blade instructor if we think that Boros uh, could be open, but we're gonna take a severed strands. It is removal. Life gain is not irrelevant on that card, by the way. All right, now there's a healer's hawk, so this is a signal for me. Does that mean we waste three picks? Man, what a tough spot. You know, I think I'm just going to take Rampaging Monument. This card's been very good. I'd rather stay open one more pick. And it's more likely that the Rampaging Monument makes my deck, given that it's colorless, uh, rather than Healer's Hawk. Even though Healer's Hawk, I think, I probably want all, all variables given, given being equal. <clears throat> Luminous Bonds. Yeah, we can take it. We can splash it. Could take another. I don't want a second severed strands. It's uh, mediocre. Could maybe take a city under city necrolisk just if you know if we want to cut cards. This Daneful stroke is excellent. It's still early enough where we should take a Guild Summit. And there's an, is it Guild Gate? There's a Golgari Guild Gate. Still think we take the gate since we don't know what we're doing. There's another gate. We could make, we could just go five color. I think if we open uh, like a bomb Golgari card, we could, e we could even move into Golgari. If we open something like Izoni. So 
So the most powerful card is an escapable blaze. We could try to go for an is it deck. Direct currents, double red. I guess like the first direct currents more important than the first uh, inescapable blaze. I'm not sure. All right, I'll take an inescapable blaze. It's still very powerful. All right, we dragonauts. So we're leaning now more towards. Is it? I don't mind. I'm glad I took the red cards. <clears throat> That's why these late picks are still important because if you are going to end up having to switch colors, you want to have the flexibility of as many playables as possible. So now you can see we really wasted, even though we really didn't waste, it was still, you know, we were in the process of discovering what's open. But you could say that we wasted uh, really only two picks, Severed Strands and Undercity Necrolisk. Uh, Sonic Assault, sure. We needed Electromancer pretty bad. Yeah, slamming this direct current. Another Inescapable Blaze. I'd rather have a second Disdainful Stroke. This card is so powerful. I mean, it stops, like, against Boros, it just stops Cosmotronic Wave on turn five. Definitely Drake. Halbender, uh, or sorry, a Beam Splitter, could totally wheel. Crackling Drake is excellent here. And now we're just taking instant sorceries, as many as we can get our, as many as we can get our hands on. I think the Boros, probably I don't want to play this. Don't want to play Guild Summit. Maybe we still we still play Guild Summit. Let's see how many gates we get. <clears throat> we did get one. Is it Guild Gate, Guild Gate back from pack one? Let's see if we get something here now. And of course, now we're just gonna definitely open Niv Mizzet in pack three. I need more spells in this deck, so I'm going to take a Maximize Velocity, even though it's one of the weaker ones. Beam Splitter, Quasi Duplicate is a thing. Is it Guild Gate, second one over Command the Storm? Now we should probably take Command the Storm, right? We don't have too much removal. I really don't want to have to play Fearless Hellbender. I don't mind Whisper Agent in my deck. We could still end up going five color or doing something with gates. So <laughs> one in doubt, I'd rather just pull the gates out of the out of the packs. If I'm looking at some cards I'm not gonna play at all, uh, then I'm yeah, then definitely take the gate. Always take the gate. <coughs> Rampaging monument is okay. We have Whisper Agent. We Dragonauts Assault Drake and Beam Splitter Mage with an entire pack left to go. Okay, so really it's only Hypothesis. It works with Rampaging Monument at instant speed. If we saw an Electromancer, I'd probably take an Electromancer from this pack. But yeah. Erratic Cyclops versus Crackling Drake. Probably just want a second Drake. Somebody's going to be really happy with that Beast Whisper, but we're going to have to settle for a. Wojcik Bodyguard is not. It's good, but it's not 
consistent enough and then low creature is a deck and direct current is just direct current. So we're certainly going to take that over anything else. <clears throat> I don't think we need to, I think I'd just rather have a Cosmotronic Wave now. Could take a Gargoyle. But I think I'm going to take Passwell Adept as well. It's a uh, more reliable, more consistent win condition. All right. I mean, at this juncture, I'm not going to splash anything. We're not going to wheel anything worth splashing. So I'll just take a Silent Dart since there are no spells in here in my colors. So we're getting pretty cut, and it looks like Selesnia was the open color. Okay, we got a frog. Well, of this, the most relevant card for us. Uh, we're getting some stuff back. It's not complete waste. But I don't like having to main deck Cosmotronic Wave. It's better with the two Crackling Drakes and the Wee Dragonauts. I mean, with an inescapable blaze, I would have liked a little more early aggro stuff. That's the latest Conclave Guild Mage. People are just throwing away, people are just throwing away Selesnia cards. I almost feel like you can go Selesnia every time you draft and still end up with a good deck. <clears throat> I actually think Silent Dart is not the worst in here. Uh, probably want a little more red for the direct currents. Okay. <clears throat> Honestly, I think it's a two in one deck. I don't think this is a three in no deck. Double Crackling Drake is good. I have every single possible instant sorcery speed spell, uh, instance and sorcery spell that I can have. Who knows, maybe we 3 0 and the MVP is just Rampaging Monument. That's going to keep growing. Theoretically, that could happen. All right, it's a good hand. I could cast uh, Drake on Curve. Yogmoth. Or Yargle. What a great card design from Dominaria. Ooh, Silent Dart. Yeah, like the thing about Silent Dart is uh, really you can throw off the order in which your opponent plays cards. Sometimes opponents make the mistake of not playing cards at all into it and just keeping cards in their hand, which is a huge mistake. Of course, you never want to do that. It's like in any given <clears throat> three rounds of magic, you're very likely to run into some sort of removal. So it really doesn't matter if it comes like this as a silent dart that's like a you know sword hanging over your head, or if it's like a direct current. It's the, the result is the same. Your creature's going to die. So just because you see this on the table, don't really you, you can you can maybe if you feel it's important, you could switch the order in which you play your creatures. Uh, if you want something weaker to die, but you often do that anyway. Like if you have, for example, uh, a Thief of Sanity, right? Let's say you're Demir and you're playing a Thief of Sanity. You're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna sandbag it. 
uh, or sorry, you're, you, you're going you're gonna to sandbag it anyway, right? Even if your opponent doesn't have a silent dart on the table. You wait until your opponent has maybe like one or two cards in hand rather than, you know, four or five. <clears throat> All right, we're just going to pass here. We have a, uh, we have a possible adapt. But every creature is worth more alive to us. And next turn, okay, Notion Range, sure. Next turn, we just play Watcher. Okay, let's play Watcher and surveil away any lands. And put Jumpstart cards in the graveyard. Okay, graveyard. This can go on top. Pass. Okay. I don't mind surveilling away more lands. That's not bad. <clears throat> getting a getting a creature bounce like that is actually really good value. Severed Strands, what did he sack? Amuse Drake? Sure. I don't care if he kills a 0 4 Drake and a play Crafter. Okay, fine. Frog dies, no problem. And. Go watch her again. Whoa, why is Guild Summon in my deck? That is a mistake. Are we that short on playables that we're playing a Guild Summit with one? Is it Guildgate? That's terrible. I need to fix that. <clears throat> That's actually a good draw. Let's get in. I'd rather play an 18th land before I play a guild summit in the deck. Yeah, we're going to win with an escape of a blaze. That's fine. Here's what I think about your hex proof. So he's a 10 with the two direct currents to the face. So I need to get one more hidden and I could just finish with direct damage. Okay, now we will kill direct, or we will kill Thief of Sanity. Definitely. In fact, I'm gonna do it pre combat. Okay. I played a land for Silent Dart in case he has a <clears throat> Whisper Agent at instant speed. Uh, I guess I could also just give this guy unblockable, but I'll prefer to kill him just to be man efficient. Okay, pass. We actually got lucky that we were able to surveil this thing away. Guild Summit. What a mistake.
You got it. So I don't have enough mana. But I could still get him down to where it's lethal next turn. I don't think he can kill me in one turn. Yeah, we pass. No reason to play a land. We have four up, four dart, and we have plenty for inescapable blaze, which by the way can't be countered. So even if the card and is even if the last card in his hand is a counter spell. Okay, maximize altitude. Not really a card you want to be playing unless you have um, uh, Whispering Mystic. Okay, he wants to surveil, sure. I mean, that's it. I mean, if that's his last card, then we go to game two, and I'm definitely taking Guild Summit out. I think I have a wall of mist or something I can just play, even though it's terrible against our opponent. Play crafter, flyers. <clears throat> yeah, guilt summits out. Maybe even a boar. I don't mind playing one boar. I have flyers and maximize velocity. So he's actually good on turn five also. Attacks as a 6-3 haste. Whisper Agent me keep makes this hand uh, tolerable. And we have a couple of draws in blue. Like the pass wall add up. All right, so it probably takes Whisper Agent out. I would imagine, and tries to mana screw me by denying me access to lands. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, missed the land drop anyway. Man, maybe it was a better idea to play an 18th land in this deck. Now I certainly wish I had. I don't care if he counterspells my frog. Knock yourself out. Are you putting never happened? Oh, he's putting never happened back into that deck. I think that's a mistake. You have a one and I mean, my hand's gonna be empty sooner or later and he's more likely to draw that later. I think it's a clear mistake playing that in that spot. Mountain, nice. So let's just go. Rampaging Monument gets bigger. Nah, I'm just gonna play a Drake. I'm gonna play a Drake. I wanna draw my. I need to. I need to hit my land drops. If I have my land drops, I win. He's down to one card. Really, not even the free roll attack. Beam splitter. Why are we playing him again in this deck? Just because I need a creature in my two drop slot? I literally don't think I've 
anything I can cast on him. He only makes rampaging monument better. That's the only purpose of his existence. So let's find Watcher and see if we could put something to the graveyard, like maximize velocity so that to get an attack in with Drake. The last card is this counterspell also. Devious cover, sure. All right, hope he's on the double devious cover up plan. That's fine. I'm not attacking, obviously. Mm hmm. I see no reason to direct current uh, Spinal Centipede. Okay. Uh, I think if I'm going to race, I want to develop my board out. And I'm going to attack with Rampaging Monument right now, faking that I have um, Seismic Assault. But I still think he blocks with the wall, right? He doesn't care. So now I do have the option of trading the wall for a crater maker. And I think I'm going to do that because that way my Hellbender and my Rampaging Monument can get in and have removal for whatever opponent plays next turn. Yeah, like, he, so there's no point in attacking with Spinal Centipede. Okay. Probably Cosmotronic Wave, I don't need. Man, my deck sucks, I gotta say. It's so, it's really pathetic. <laughs> Feels terrible. Yeah, we just block like this. The plan here is to command the storm and just race. Because with this capable blaze, I'm more likely to uh, to win first. Okay. All right, got there. Oh no, I'm one short. Ah, uh, that's why he blocked. That's why he blocked like that. Whatever, I have double direct current. I don't think he can. I don't think he can kill me. I can't believe I cannot believe we won with such a crappy duck. And like I said, Rampaging Monument is gonna be the superstar.
I can even cast it twice this turn, but I don't think I'll need to. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can fix this deck. I still think we main that Cosmotronic Wave. So our only sideboard options are like this and this. And maybe this. Oh, we have maximized velocity that works with Beam Splitter Mage. <laughs> One card in our not entire deck. I'm sorry, I stand corrected. There it is. <laughs> oh man. We're just we're just doing it. These games are too easy. Any deck can play against three lands. Oh, this is perfect. Ooh, and I could just kill him with direct currents to the face. Oh, man. Another boar. Okay. Sure. What's the most reliable way to kill him? Let's say he's got life game. What if he plays like a healer's hawk next turn? I wonder. I don't really want to trade Rampaging Monument because it's likely to get bigger than Boar. Of course, if I get a mountain, I could just uh, double the recurrent board, get in for, uh, get in for five, and then finish him off with the other direct current next turn. Yeah, this way he's going to be down to four. And as long as he doesn't gain life, I can kill him in one, maybe two turns. I mean, he has to make two plays here. I also have a maximized velocity, by the way. 
Should I need that? Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's still dead, right? <laughs> we out aggroed a Boros deck. Okay, so Boros with four mana costed and higher cards. I don't know, I don't even think we need a wall and mist. I wasn't very impressed with our opponent's deck. What do you want card special? Oh Lord, is this is this deck going to is this deck gonna go undefeated? We're halfway there already. <laughs> we just need to win three more matches and then we're six out with like the worst deck ever. The worst is a deck. The is a deck that just didn't quite come together. Oh, you do have two drops. Uh, Cosmotronic Wave is good. That's a good draw. Mountain would be good here. Or Cosmotronic Wave. I'll, I'll settle for anything. Or an island. Wow, I can't even cast Drake. That's so frustrating. Right, let's just hope the Stainful Stroke can keep us alive here. I think I'd rather hypothesis all here. Let's just pass, because what if he's got like a haste creature or something? Let's just wait and hypothesis all. No effects, okay, I have an effect. Cosmotronic wave is good, I guess. Direct current for Crackling Drake value. And let's kill the flyer. Play another X1. Play another X1. Okay, well, we can deal with that. We need to kill Garrison Sergeant. So let's just pass and command the storm at instant speed.
So Drake's are now four fours. How do I kill that? I could take one hit from this thing. I guess I don't need to kill it now. And then I could just double Crackling Drake. <laughs> you know what, actually, with the effect from this, uh, my Drake would die when, it, when I block. So I'm almost better off going Cosmotronic Wave, taking a hit, because I would take a hit anyway, and then playing Crackling Drake next turn as a 5-4 to trade with the Giant. So that's cutting it real close. But uh, I guess we don't even have to Cosmotronic Wave. We could just Direct Current this thing. I guess we need to discard it anyway. We need we need this to be a five uh, five four next turn. Okay, let's just do it right now. I'm actually going to play in as a Gilgate because I want access to as much mana as I can get to stabilize. But as long as I'm not dead, as long as I'm at one, I could still win. Got it. All right, let's play Drake one. I can actually double drink this turn. It's pretty sweet. Oops. Now let's go one, two, three, four. Drink number two. Pass. Okay, I'm not sure what that does exactly. Seems like a waste of a perfectly good Clarion. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Wow. I missed that four toughness and the, oh man. All right, all right. OP got us good respect, respect. So tough, so high in bars. Like this Daneful Strokes are incredible against our opponent. Wall of Mist sucks, no changes. Maybe a second boar. I don't think so. I think our deck is very good. And I think we're lined up very well with two disdainful strokes against the high end Burrows deck. We should just win this even with our even with our crappy cards. Here we go. Oh yes.
Sí. Plasmatronic wave. <laughs> can I can't do it now, unfortunately. So I gotta leave beam splitter back. Play silent dart. Pass. Keeping up the painful stroke. Nope. I think he was supposed to attack with the one one also. Cosmotronic wave. Doesn't really do anything here. I guess we just pass keeping up silent art. Still passing. You're still very much in the game, by the way. If he's not doing anything, that's a good sign. Does he have an effect? Hmm. I actually need command the storm for the swath cutter. I don't wanna I don't wanna use an inescapable blaze on him. So I wanna save command the storm. So finally opponent mustered up the courage to attack with the soldier. Unfortunately, I don't have an instant speed spell I could cast here to kill him. So my opponent gains two life. Let's see what he plays. Is he playing around Silent Dart? <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's put that on top. And you know what? Let's put that on top as well. I'm going to start attacking or not. Yeah, I think he would have. I mean, if he had removal, he would have played it. I'm just going to start attacking. If he draws something, he draws something.
So now we're drawing to our Drake's. Loxodon, okay. So let's kill this thing. Pump for Dragonauts and continue attacking. I'm going to be a little bit more conservative here. And I'm just going to go monument, create a maker, and pass. Perfect. Okay, so now we start just chipping away. I think we can attack with both flyers. I'm just going to pass. Okay. He could have a combat trick. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, my best block would be to block the 1-1, one, one, sag the Crater Maker to kill the soldier, and then silent guard the Rumble Belt Boar. I'm just going to go for that plan. So block here. Sack. Kill the Life Linker. Silent guard this guy. No damage. No damage. Okay, no damage. All right, so now I think I want to go maximize velocity. And attack with both. I'm going to keep up Whisper Agent to eat the life linker. See what we get. So now we don't need that. Put that in the graveyard. No effect. Ooh, City Watch thinks is good. But I think our opponent's dead anyway. All 
All right, got there with a really crappy is a deck that just barely yeah barely pulls its pulls its weight. Uh, but somehow we made the finals. I really didn't think we were going to make the finals even. So we do want to play first. This seems very good. Keep. Okay. And we are an aggro is a deck. Sure. Kind of want my land. I'll discard the red current. Well, from here, I'm just going to keep up disdainful strokes because I can't let that disinformation campaign go off. So I need to sack, either sack Goblin Crater Maker before Phantasm gets bigger, or I need to counterspell whatever OP plays here. Okay. Definitely killing that. So still keeping up disdainful strokes. Uh, okay. I think I need to cast Watcher. If I get countered, the game's over anyway. Yeah. Well, let's see, maybe we still survive somehow. I don't think we play any more lands. We have two cards in the graveyard. No blocks. So let's go direct current on Thoughtbound Phantasm. Discard a mountain. Okay, let's pass. Looks like he's playing around Disdainful Stroke. I 
I have to discard one of them now. Sonic Assault. I think I need to Sonic Assault the Shade for a turn. So I get an island. I need to stop taking damage now, so I'm just gonna Cosmetronic Wave. Kill the stupid Death Toucher. Yes, I'm trading uh, four drop for a one drop, but I don't see a Crawl Swarm on the table and I can counterspell it anyway. He's, and he's gonna play Devious Cover Up. Okay, so that's fine. I'd actually, tra I'd actually rather trade a Cosmotronic way for a Devious cover-up. I don't want a Disdainful Stroke that. I'd rather save Disdainful Stroke for something better. Now I'll trade with the Poisoner. Somehow these Daneful Strokes don't seem very good against our opponent. Okay, I'm going to take one of them out. We got killed by three, by one, two, and three drops. Actually, I'm going to take out both. Yeah, we're just going to go full aggro. I'm not sure if it saved or not. Okay.
That's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so this is the turn that's going to win us the game, basically, because now he's dead. That's yeah, not really going to help him. He's going to take a direct current. He's going to keep up uh, this Daneful Stroke. I'm not even going to play. I'm not going to play a four drop. I'm just going to Sonic Assault. Or does he want to play a disinformation campaign? He's welcome to play a disinformation campaign. Because I think he's screwed anyway. Um, Can't disdainful stroke that. Got there. Okay, so uh, I think we go full aggro again. Okay, we did. We did take out wall of mist. Good. So what do we see? We saw. Maybe one disdainful stroke instead of one bore. There's another way of deal, dealing with this five drop. I think this is better. I can't believe if we three know with this deck, I'm going to be very surprised because, in my opinion, it's one of the weaker is it decks I've built. I mean, we drew a mountain last time. Why not just keep it again? Watch, we're going to get a mountain right now. Oh, I told you. Discard Cosmotronic Wave for Crackling Drake. I would rather he counterspell the Rampaging Monument. No, okay, he did not. Then we can attack. Okay. I do want to want. I do want to play the as a Gilgate to play Sphinx at some point. Oh my God! Are we actually going to three zero here? Is it possible? He can't get me with Ritual of Suit. I guess it would be bad if he plays like. Okay, that's not a problem. Because guess what? Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to attack. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Sure.
All right, all right, all right. You got me. You got me. I still get the counter on rampaging monuments. So now it blanks under realm, which sure. So he's going to start surveilling. I'm just going to attack like this for now. And I'm going to trade Creator Maker for House Guild Mage end of turn. Yeah, I like this attack. Perfect. Okay. And let's pass. Thonic Assault would be like green card here right now. Okay. So, so I can flash and whisper agent at instant speed. Do I attack with everything here? So then I can make this a 6-6, six, six, and then he, if he double blocks with pass while add up to an Underrealm Lynch, he can't trade, or I just use it to kill Errata. I like that idea. I like the idea of just attacking with everything. And then if he doesn't block, we still flash in Whisper Agent to get the plus one, plus one counter. Okay, that's perfect. So flash in this bad boy. If we get a spell, we put it in the graveyard, I think. Sure. Hypothesis on. That was a big turn. So he's going to get the rampaging monument. Imagine that's the biggest threat. Okay. Let's attack with everything and hypothesis at instant speed.
I hope I can draw in this card spell right now. I really hope he pays the life. Either way, I have him at six. I have him at six or I have him at two, and then I have him in this capable blaze, which the only risk is if he can somehow get that card out of my hand. Okay, you got bounce. Oh, that's fine. Then I can discard We Dragonauts, and he's just dead. Woohoo! Three and zero. Oh my God! I can't. I really can't believe with three and zero with this crappy deck. Sure. Sacrifice Crackling Drake. Yeah, okay. Okay. And discard Dragonauts. Pass. All right, hope. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Hopefully, we can go back to back 3 0 right now. Uh, I really, honestly, I did not think I would 3 0 with this deck. I'm really sorry. I don't understand what's wrong with um, the Wizard software, but we can check the trophy count. I should have 11 by now. Yeah, 11. So 202121. And uh, yeah, see you next time.